right guys, um, it's about time we're finally going to do the comparison between the two tailless uh, Delta wings, the one with the KF airfoil and the one without. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have Paul fly them straight at the radar since he hasn't flown either one of these two planes so that way we don't get a skewed uh, view of what these planes fly like. Um, he's going to fly the KF airfoil one first, we're going to clock it on the radar, then we're going to switch the speed control over to the other one and put the cover on that and he'll fly the second plane and we'll do it back to back and see what they come out as and then I'll get his opinion on what he thinks about how these two planes fly. Alright, here we go. Okay, ready? Whoa! Alright, 82 miles an hour. 82, yeah. Got it? Mm -hmm. Aye. 81. Aye, I'm scared. <laughs> this one is a little touchy, uh, but it seems to handle pretty well. I just got to get used to his uh, controls on it. Definitely touchier than uh, the points I've been flying lately. Eighty three. Eighty three this time? Yeah, was that uh, higher than the last two? one? Yeah. Looks like it's flying nice and level and yeah, steady. It's not windy at all today. There's no push. Man, 85. I can see the the playing at all. Cool, man. 85 miles an hour. Okay, good. Okay, I think that's right there. You want to go ahead and switch to the other point? Yeah. Right, how's this thing land? It's not too bad, actually. Just let it glide around like you do with your other fast plane. It comes in pretty, fairly tough, but if you, you can shed the feet off on this one pretty good. This one with uh, KF, right? Yeah, this is the KF Airfoil one. Wow, 85 is the best. <laughs> oh! All right. Um, the best we got on that one so far was uh, 85 miles an hour, which okay, was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I felt like it flew um, really stable, um, considering it doesn't have any uh, large tail fins. And um, it is a little touchy in the roll and the up and down, actually. But um, once you get used to it, it's pretty stable. Awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch the speed controller over to the other one in the cover, and then we'll test the one without the KF airfoil next. Okay. Okay, we're ready to test the tailless delta without the KF airfoil. Everything's been switched over. So we're going to go ahead and do some radar uh, runs with this one too and see what we get. Okay, there we go. Eighty-three miles an hour. The same. Eighty-three too. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, this one it does feel like it's a little bit less responsive. Holy cow, dude! Ninety-eight miles an hour. No way. Yeah. I think I got a better run on that one though. Um, I want to also say that this. Uh, plane is about three ounces lighter than the one with the KF airfoil and it does have a thinner wing. I tried to get them as close as I could but it's a little bit different. 92. 92, yeah. Yeah, and your frontal area on the KF one is actually a lot wider, isn't it? The KF airfoil one actually turned out to be about a quarter inch thicker in this wing and it's about three and a half ounces heavier.
91. Wow. 90, wow. And today is a really, really calm day. It doesn't seem like there's any wind at all. 84 on that path. You want to bring it in? Yeah. See how it comes in for the landing. definitely is uh, a lot more crazy when you're going slow and totally started wiggling. Um, the KF airfoil one was definitely a lot more stable when it was coming in. Um, it seemed like it retained um, its uh, level flight path. This one, as soon as I slowed it down, it started wiggling like crazy, like a bucking bronco. So I was not expecting that on the landing. So um, definitely I think I like the um, KF airfoil one for stability, definitely on low speeds. Um, it definitely seemed like it had a lot more um, responsiveness to the controls and actually I'd probably turn them down just a little bit because it was a lot more touchy than this one but that is because the KF airfoil seems like it's working so good it's keeping the air right over the um, the uh, elevons so um, it did appear like this one seems to be a little bit faster but like Frank was saying that it's a little lighter and actually the KF airfoil model the uh, wing is a bit wider so it's gonna have a little more resistance on it so we're probably gonna be doing some more um, comparisons in the future try and get actually a closer um, comparison closer yeah so the you know the, the wing widths are the same and stuff like that so I don't think it's conclusive totally but I think it's a pretty good comparison uh, what's your views Frank um, since I've flown it more than Paul has both of these planes um, I would think that they'd probably be a lot closer if the KF airfoil wing was actually the same thickness as the other one like I said it's about a quarter inch thicker and the plane is also heavier by about three and a half ounces so I think if they are both the same weight and the same thickness, it would probably be very hard to tell the difference between the speed of the two planes. Yeah, and in my opinion, I definitely like the KF airfoil version better for the low speed stability. You can't beat it compared to that other one. That other one, I don't know I'm going on camera, but like I said, it just started wiggling and bucking like a bucking Bronco, and I lost all control at the very end there. So. Hey, everyone. In conclusion to this comparison, um, I would like to say that even though the symmetrical airfoil plane flew faster than the KF airfoil plane. Um, I don't think that it's 100% conclusive as um, I realized when Paul told me that he felt that the second plane had a little bit more power at the launch um, that I realized I'd forgotten to check the voltage on both of the batteries before putting them into the planes. Um, if I would have done that maybe I would have found that one was a little different than the other and that might be the reason why if you listen to the engine pitch at the launch on both of these planes, you can notice that the one without the KF airfoil seems to be winding up quite a bit more. Um, so in conclusion, I'd like to say that um, I think both of these planes are really a lot closer than what this comparison showed them to be, at least on the top end. Um, just from my experience of flying both of them quite a bit, I didn't think that there was that big a difference when I was testing them myself. Um, but I still think it was a pretty good comparison as it showed that both of the planes flew pretty well at high speeds But the KF airfoil plane definitely shined a lot better at the lower speeds It seemed like it was a lot more locked in and more stable all the way down to the landing part of it um, The other plane when it came into landing time when it was slowing down It was very unstable and started rocking and Paul had trouble controlling it um, as far as my opinion, I like the KF airfoil plane better just because that it feels like it's locked in and it's riding on rails the whole time you're flying it. Um, the other plane feels a lot looser in the air, um, even though it may have flown faster. Um, like I said, we're still not sure about that. Um, I'll have to do some more testing later to find out for sure. Um, but out of the two planes, I definitely like the way the one with the KF airfoil flies better. Um, this is my conclusion to the comparison, and I'll see you guys again soon. Um, thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters.